The key elements of a reinforced retaining wall are soil behind and underneath the wall. Ideally, it should be cohesionless and have high shear resistance. Reinforcement, the geo grid. The engineer must understand all the factors that determine the long-term design strength of the product used. Facing system, the wall, are often chosen based on aesthetics. The engineer must address how the face connects with the geo grid reinforcement. Drainage. Water buildup behind a wall can significantly increase the loads it must withstand. Modern and efficient retaining wall designs include a drainage element. There are a number of facing systems available. The most commonly available one is masonry blocks. These blocks are individual units. They interlock to form a wall. The geogrid is laid between block layers and held in place by friction. This way a wall can be built very tall, in excess of 10 meters. All wall designs need to account for the expected loads on top of the wall. In this instance, the wall needs to support the dead load of the bridge deck and the live loads of the traffic it will carry. Adequate drainage is a key part of retaining wall design. Free draining aggregates are commonly used. Geosynthetic products can also be used to collect water and allow to drain away from behind the wall. Proper drainage ensures that poor water pressure does not build up behind the wall and force to overturn. The design philosophy used in retaining walls can also be applied when reinforcing slopes. Slopes are considered to be between 35 and 70 degrees. By definition, anything steeper than 70 degrees is a wall. In this unit, we have looked at geosynthetic reinforced embankments, basal reinforcement, sub-base reinforcement, and retaining walls. Generally, the long-term design strength of the geosynthetic material can be calculated by using the equation. The long-term design strength equals the creep rupture strength divided by reduction factors for installation and chemical and biological degradation. To be sure the critical structures such as retaining walls and embankments will stand for the required design life and beyond, the engineer uses long-term design life as a key design parameter. There are a wide range of geosynthetic reinforcing products, each with their own manufacturing processes and performance characteristics. The design engineer is responsible for ensuring the structure is designed with the appropriate product. Reputable products are backed by empirical testing from world-class independent facilities. Engineers must be mindful of potential variability in performance between products. Geosynthetic reinforcement allows engineers to build structures faster and more economically. Thanks to the following companies which supplied images or contributed to the development of this unit. This lecture series was funded and created by International Fibre Centre, TTNA, the Monash Geomechanics Group at Monash University.